How you doing guys? This is a, this is a uh, 67, 68 MG. Uh, mismatched years. Uh, a lot of cutting and welding. Sent this out, had it blasted. Um, covered it in epoxy primer. Um, aftermarket fenders. The uh, ones that were on there, one was fiberglass and the other one was steel, but they were both done. Um, got everything to fit as best we could. Um, that little piece below the tail light was welded on um, did the body work over the epoxy and then uh, when we got it as straight as we could we got it a, uh, we reapplied epoxy over everything and then we did the uh, polyester filler and it's coming up as the um, that's the epoxy I laid down just one coat and then we got that applied and um, supplier set me up with um, a Spees Hecker product called uh, Raterol, I think it was. And uh, yeah, Raterol. Um, I only had enough of that to do um, the doors, the uh, hood, and the deck lid. Um, we used the 3M disposable tip, uh, 1.8 millimeter tip, and it barely got that through. I did the rest in slick sand. Um, that sprayed a little easier. They both sanded really nice. Uh, that's the Raterol. Um, sprayed a, uh, I thinned out some base coat and just laid a, a guide coat over that for f um, final sanding before the uh, urethane filler primer. And that's that's how that came out. Um, let this sit for a little while. This took, um, this came in in early spring. There it is in, uh, with the filler primer on it. And then we started jamming. Did the engine compartment, um, body color, but with a flat clear, um, rocket areas, put a gloss clear on, and, uh, that's the engine compartment. We didn't take the engine out, so that was fun masking that. Um, trunk area, also a flat clear. And there it is, with the filler primer all sanded, uh, clean, masked off, ready for paint. Uh, I did a sealer, base coat, clear coat. Um, this, you can still see the sealer in some of the jam areas. I had to redust some of those in. But here she is, uh, all cleared. What do you think, Tom? Gorgeous. <laughs> and there it is with just the base coat on. A few shots of that. Yeah, it was, um, chose to had the panels on before he painted it could have done it the other way because it's a solid color but um nothing really fit that well because like i said it was mismatched years and parts so this was the way to go but took a while to get it to this point we were pretty happy with it time for a break mmm coffee putting it back together took a little while um, it was a, definitely a whole shop effort throughout the summer. But it uh, looks good in British Racing Green. The guy wanted it um, in white, and we said we wouldn't do all this work just to paint it white. <laughs> and that, turns out it, it came out pretty good in British Racing Green. It, it looks right for that car. Pretty neat little car, there it is all together. And that's the MG project.